Hello YouTube, it is me, Rake. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm gonna do a little guide, sort of tutorial video, and just sort of sharing kind of my discoveries with the latest intersection marking tool mod update. Um, there's a couple things that I want to go over. First off, though, um, yeah, I've been pretty busy lately in real life and with this game because it's been causing me a lot of trouble. And yeah, it's it wasn't very enjoyable. <laughs> I have been playing and I, I, I'm trying to make something that looks presentable for a video or something. But I just couldn't get to it. Either my RAM was lacking, which I've already upgraded to 128 gigabytes by now. Or the break would save somewhere. Or there would also be just some random issues like network limitations and the city not being quite exactly what I want it to be. There was always some sort of default process that hinders me. Either way, with that being said, uh, let's get this really fast with, right? So that I don't waste your time. So let's, let's have a hypothetical situation. You're trying to build a highway, and you have, for example, this highway. Okay, so you draw it, and you notice these markings, these dashes, on the on the standard placing. You don't like them, right? They they look kind of ugly, short like that. That's just a per personal preference, but let's say hypothetically you don't, which I also don't. So I'm just gonna remove these, and that's actually possible. This is uh, something that I've discovered recently, and it's great with the latest update. Uh, so what you do is, you put this here, you change the style to prop, and then the prop asset, you want to change to... Um, just gotta find it. This one. So first off, I forgot to mention this. You gotta go to Steam, and you have to download... The probable asphalt decal from Ronnie X9, X69. Uh, I think it's this one, if I remember correctly. But it's the decal. You have to get the decal. Because if you do download the prop, if you use the prop uh, on elevated segments and elevated roads, it's going to start looking funky. Decals don't actually conform like that. Um, they don't actually go straight. They do conform to the road, sorry. So, as you can see here, I think you're already catching on to what I'm about to do. But, where we kind of change up is to make these smaller. If you make it cover the whole road, it's going to start getting a bit laggy. And then you make it as small as the actual dashes. And increase, uh, decrease the steps, sorry. To the point where it starts covering this whole line. And now you see the color being a bit funky. So you can change the color by selecting color variant custom. And then you can just sort of tweak it. You gotta change this transparency first to max. And then you kinda just tweak it a bit, right? So it's barely noticeable. And this is honestly so great. I love this. I love this feature. It's kind of barely, but that, that works. Same thing on the other side. Actually, we could also increase the scale here of these decals. That also works. And then you don't have to place nearly as many with these steps. And you kind of do keep the texture as well. So that looks great, but you do cover this line as well. and. You can actually fix that by just shifting this, like this, right? And then you draw, uh, no, sorry, you add a rule to it. Then you see you already have a new set of lines. And then say you wanted to make these dashes a bit longer. You could just increase that. Maybe make a bit of a distance between them, put a bit of distance. Maybe you want them a bit wider. And then you can try to copy this like this. Paste them in. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right? 
and then you can just copy the template and then apply it to the whole road just like that and then you can you can genuinely do this for literally any other road i have done this for this pack of highways yet another american highway pack and since what i've done here is a bit special i've just overlaid the exact same length of dashes dashes and sort of made it conform in the best way possible that's really difficult to explain but they i have it set up in a certain way so that it looks kind of jumbled and super messy but i really like that sort of look because uh not really many real life cities do that or really any countries right with their with the way their dashes are present they're either super long and kind of uniform they're always uniform or they're super short uh, for me i just have such a mess and i kind of like it i really do uh, i could have also just gotten rid completely of the dashes and made super straight lines but that wouldn't look too great with super curvy uh, bends like this so that's one thing um the other thing is let's say again you wanted to create um, like little decorations, little shoulders on these, um, what are these, on these uh, da dashes, right? And say you wanted to use some highway decorations, right? Um, let me add some here. Maybe these ones. And so you start noticing here a bit of a limit with the actual uh, probable asphalt. So what you're gonna have to do is still decrease the sizes to when appropriate size and then decrease the scale decrease the steps so that it's even like that and then you can start working on these um, I can't actually see where they are there you go so let's say you want to put these into your highway and you can actually do that it's super nice and I'm pretty sure people already know about this but I thought I would you know still inform you about it maybe it is useful for you uh, and then you can just do the same thing one more time copy paste it um, oh wait no I didn't I didn't copy paste it there you go and at this point it's still in the same position so you have to change the shifting here shift it a bit to the left and then just rinse and repeat I'm gonna try I'm gonna just do that real quick just like that right so that's how you do decorations on one hand super easy I can actually delete this I think no wait, no wait. Okay, never mind. We have to put in. I already have this set up here, so all I have to do is change the colors a bit, and then have it match this road, just like that. And maybe you want to have like a line going here, like a straight line, something like that, right? And it looks super nice. And it doesn't use up the prop count at all. That's the best part. Um, next thing that I wanted to cover was buffer lanes. Uh, say you didn't actually have a buffer lane like this. Um, and you want to create something like... Let me see. Something like this, right? A completely separate lane. 
So I think it's not too difficult to create this. Um, really, all you gotta do is you plop down your road, and then you create a line here going through one of the lanes that you want to separate as a buffer lane. And then this is very important. You go to Traffic Manager, and then go to Vehicle Restrictions. And this one, this is something I've actually never used and never even known existed. And this is so nice. This is so useful. Just ban all cars from driving on this lane, and cars will never use that lane. And it's a completely like theoretically safe buffer zone, and it's uh, it's great. It it looks and works exactly how you want it to work. And then say you want to end the buffers of the buffer lane here like this. I can just do that. It looks as good as it does in real life. Um, and then you can just put in the filler maybe and then create these sort of like arrow like designs on the side looks pretty nice on these highways I'm very, very happy with what I did here uh, one more little thing that I also figured out you can do but doesn't look perfect is colored uh, fillers so what you start doing first is like something like this a colored you know filler and then you draw another on top of it. This is something that a couple of countries do, and I found that super interesting. Then maybe you do something like this. And I really wanted to do this in my own save. But so far, I actually haven't <laughs> been doing that. So I need to find time to do that properly, maybe on these ones. And that looks pretty much, except, you know, these little clippings here. Which you can't really do anything about either way. And then you can just, you know, fill these gaps in a bit, create a bit of a more nice shape. Just like that. Right. Um, now, say hypothetically, you run out of lines that you want to connect for some reason, because usually they have enough here, really. Uh, no fret. You, let's say you run out of this one, and you obviously, if you add another rule, you can't with like a intersection mark into design, like double solid. You can't do it, right? It's not possible unless you change this one as well. See, it removes this one, but put it puts in this one instead. That's that's not gonna work for us. No, no, that's not gonna work. Um. There is one small limitation, however, with this little trick, is that you're gonna have to use props instead of, you know, design from your own sort of mind. Let's say uh, maybe you want to. No, they don't have this. Maybe like something from clues. Oh god. Oh, I'm gonna have to find it myself then. Maybe like dash. Okay, something like this, right? And as you see, there's like two different types of designs already. And then you can just shift it around a bit. Just like that. Maybe the steps a bit. And it's great. It's really great. Something like that, maybe. And then you want to do it on the other side, maybe. And you can just keep doing that. And it's, it's just free. It really is just free. And you can do it as many times as you want. And that's just the greatness of it. You never run out of points technically to connect to. As long as you are using workshop decals. Uh, that concludes this little guide slash tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from it. Um, here's a couple examples that I've done. As you can see here, this is the city that I'm working on. It's very a work in progress. This is one little design that I've come up with. It's very um, Japan-like, a very like expressway, shuto sort of deal. You got these yellow buffer lanes. No cars can drive on them. And you got these little like uh, I don't know what these are honestly, but they look cool. Um, and say you want to make it so that this lane right here merges into this lane you can just create this sort of little line and maybe create some 
merging uh, dashes, something like that. Or maybe you want to create something like this, where there's like, you know, two buffer lanes on the right and one big lane in the middle. And you can still change the sizes. This one is just retrofitted to like the three lanes configuration and it kind of looks really big, but that's fine for me. And same thing here applies as well. Maybe like merging dashes. One little build that you might have seen on Reddit. Uh, people were making fun of the shape of this interchange. Uh, I don't really mind, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, don't, just don't mind that. It's a bug with the with the mod. Hopefully fixed soon. You can also do something like this, where you can join up these little merging lanes, or maybe something like this one, and it just continues on and on. Wouldn't have been possible before, but since, as you can see here, I'm using these decals, I'm using this decal to cover up the previous dashes. It looks so beautiful, perfect, and then it just merged seamlessly into traffic on the highway. Here, as you can see, I also created another buffer lane, and with this mod right here, I blocked off all these lanes from being driven on, and the cars just drive on the proper lanes, and it's it works exactly as intended. It's great. It's honestly just great. So yeah, that, that concludes that tutorial. I really hope I'm going to be able to post something very soon. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And see you in the next one. Bye.